everyone, this is Winnie and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to tell you everything about my MS Spa experience with my vintage Birkin 30. I hope this video serves as a good reference for you and I'll leave all the important information in the info box below, like the timeline, the prices, etc. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment column below. I'll try my best to answer them. So let's get started. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'd like to give you some background information before I continue. A couple years ago, I bought a vintage Birkin 30 in Kujavel leather from a Japanese reseller on eBay. The bag was made in 1993. The year stamp is W in a circle, and it's the color blue marine with gold hardware. I paid 5,000 US for it. I wouldn't say it's the best deal, but I really like the color combination. Let's talk about the Kujavel leather. It is a discontinued leather that MS retired in the late 1990s, early 2000s. I did some research online and found out that MS decided to discontinue this leather because it was too easy to imitate. Later, they released the Epsom leather, which many people think is a replacement for the Kujavel leather, and I think they have good reasons to say that because they are really similar. At this point, I'm sure if you want to see the back, so I'm going to take it out, briefly show you the back, and then keep talking. Here it is. They gave me a new dust bag. I brought the original dust bag to them when I dropped the bag off, but they didn't want it. And I think it is a normal practice that they give us a new dust bag when we bring it to the cleaning service. So here it is. And this is the Kujavel leather, blue marine with gold hardware. You can see it's quite similar to the Epsom leather. And I'll talk more about it later. This is just to show you the back now. And they didn't give me this box. This box is for my Kelly 25 Cellier. Now that you have seen the bag, let's continue. I get asked this question a lot. Why did you bring your bag to the MS Spa? I think there are two layers to the question. First, why was there a need for me to have the bag fixed? And the second question will be, why did I take it to MS but not some other companies? So I'm going to answer both questions one by one. And now let's talk about the need. It's really hard for you to imagine if you see this for the first time and if you have never seen the old like before spa version. But don't worry, I'll insert clips. I bought this bag in vintage condition. So the condition wasn't so good to start with. And after using it for a few years, things started really falling apart. The leather on the handles were separating, making it uncomfortable for me to carry. I didn't want to wrap them with tweelies because I really like the clean look. And the stitchings were missing or broken. One of the biggest problems was on the gussets. The leather was extra soft and loose it didn't give the bag a good structure. And the biggest, biggest problem was on the gold hardware, which was in very bad condition when it first came. Some plating was missing, probably because the original owner of the bag kept the protective stickers on. And many years later, when they peeled the stickers off, they peeled off some of the gold plating as well. So some parts of the hardware looked dull, and some parts looked shinier, but the overall condition was very bad. The after-sales service representative at MS agreed that that's probably what happened. So that's why I decided to have the bag fixed. To answer the second question, there are companies out there that do leather repair, they do a good job, they charge less, but to me, I only trust MS. On top of that, I needed a lot of replacement services, which no other companies can do. Even if it's like a small retouching job, I would still take it back to MS. And I think that's the point of getting an MS bag. They have really good after sale service, although they charge you, of course, they charge you quite a bit. The wait is really long. There's a reason for that because 
they do everything very carefully and I will talk a little bit about the workshop and the people at the workshop later even if it's like a really tiny small retouching job I would still bring it back to MS and and I have a good reason for that so I was talking to the after sales service rep if the crafts people find out that something was done not by the workshop people but by like some other companies they will not touch the bag the reason is they do not want to be held accountable for something that they didn't handle completely so i think that makes sense yeah because you never know when you're going to need a bigger job that cannot be done by some other companies so you kind of need to buy insurance for your own back for the future my overall experience with the ms after sales service was excellent everybody was friendly and professional i went to the flagship store in hong kong but you don't have to take your bag to a flagship store all stores have after sales wraps so you can just take it to any store and they will help you so on the day I dropped off my bag, I went to the store with my bag. I told the sales associate what I was there for. And he asked me to go to the after sales uh, service desk where an after sales service representative briefly looked at my bag before she filled out my application for after sales services. So it sounds really strange that you have to fill out an application, but it's called an application. She did not ask me for the original receipt, nor did she ask me where or when I got the bag. So no, no questions. I think she preliminarily authenticated the bag before filling out the application. And then later, of course, like the people at the back office or the people at the workshop will do a thorough inspection on the bag before giving me a quotation. When she was filling out the application, I pointed out different problems on the bag and I noticed that she wasn't jotting the things down. And I understand because it's really up to the people at the workshop to decide what needs to be done. I can always put in a request, but there's no guarantee that they will follow. So I was just keeping my fingers crossed because I really, really hope that they would replace the hardware. But there is a chance that even though they don't look visually appealing, they are fully functional. And there's a chance that they think, oh, well, they're fully functional. There's no need to replace the, the hardware. And then they will say no to replace the hardware. And then I'll be like, man, like it's so bad. Like it looks so bad. So, I mean, I was just trying to kind of think inside my head and the, the wait for the quotation was hard because I was like hoping, hoping, hoping that they would replace many parts instead of just fixing them, like repairing them. So speaking of requests, they will not entertain any requests for changing the original leather, color, and hardware combination. Say for example, if you have a bag with silver hardware and you want to change it to gold hardware, even though they were going to replace your hardware, like on quotation it says, I'll replace hardware, they will not agree to change colors. Also for the, the stitching, like if it's blue with blue stitching i can't say okay so i want yellow stitching now can you do yellow because you're, you're gonna restitch the whole bag anyway right can you just do yellow they, they won't do it so just just forget it they will not change anything also something that is very important that i must tell you is that they will not fix the interior of a bag it may sound crazy that they don't fix the inside of the bag they will only fix the outside of the bag and i've confirmed with the after sales representative that they do not fix the interior of bags you can confirm with the after sales service rep in your country they will not fix any say uh slip pockets inside the zipper inside the lining inside and she also told me that say for example the lining because it's lamb skin it's a lot more delicate than the leather on the outside usually and so they don't want to touch it they don't want to put stress on the leather so if you're thinking of getting a bag that needs some work done by ms spa i think the outside is okay but the inside you'll think about it like if it's really unacceptable then don't get it because they will not change anything they will not do anything on the inside and don't let any seller tell you that you can take the bag to the spa to fix the inside of the bag 
because they won't. So the next thing I want to talk about is where did they send my bag? On the same day I brought in my Birkin, I also send the wallet in. So I have a wallet and a Birkin. And after filling in the application, you know, checking everything, the after sales rep told me that um, these two items would be sent to two different places. My wallet, because it's a smaller job, would be sent to the workshop in Hong Kong. And the Bergen, on the other hand, would be sent to Paris because it was a very complicated job and it required the sourcing of a discontinued letter. So it could only be done in Paris. So that's why I have experience with them sending something uh, to the Hong Kong workshop and something to Paris. So let's focus on Paris one, like the, the wallet. Uh, for the wallet, I collected the wallet already and I made a before and after video, which I'm gonna put on the end slate so you can watch it after watching this video. Speaking of sourcing the discontinued leather, luckily they were able to find the matching leather and color for this bag. So this is blue marine. And I was lucky that blue marine was a popular color and they had it in Cougeval leather, enough leather to repair this bag. So I was lucky that they found the leather. From the picture, you can see a slight color difference because it one is old, one is new, but they were close enough, so it was okay. And because they were sending my Birkin to Paris, they would inspect and authenticate the bag there. So what if the bag turned out to be a fake? On the back of the application, it says, if the item appears to be non-genuine, the company should be under no obligation to repair it or to ship it back to me since this could be considered as an export or import offense and or as a concealment of counterfeit, which makes sense, right? Like you don't wanna ship a fake back anywhere. The item will then be sent to the authorities like customs or police of the country where the product has been sent. So in this case, France. Luckily, that didn't happen. So this is a real bag, and then they gave me a quotation and they fixed the bag. Who will fix my bag? A craftsperson at the workshop will fix my bag, and all craftspeople are from France, and they know how to make and fix bags. They were all trained in France, and were sent to different parts of the world to station at different MS workshops. Outside of France, they only repair bags. The craftspeople repair the bags the same way they make them, like the way they treat the leather, the way they stitch. So it's exactly the same way. They receive training every year after their summer break. All craftspeople have their summer break and training from mid-July to September every year. And that's why I had to wait longer because all workshops were closed for a month and a half in the summer. Speaking of time, I would like to give you a timeline of my MS Spa experience. I brought my bag to the store on the 5th of May, 2019. I received their quotation about a month and a half later on the 27th of June. And I collected my bag about four months later on the 20th of December, the same year. So the whole process took about seven and a half months, but if the waiting time didn't overlap with their summer break and training, I would have been able to collect the bag sooner. Okay, so let's talk about money. How much did I pay? Seven things were done on the bag and I paid 26,231 Hong Kong dollars in total. I paid on the day that I picked up the bag and I did not have to pay for the inspection, the shipping, nor did I have to leave a deposit for the job. If after receiving a quotation, I decided not to use their service, I can take my bag back and there will be no charges. I'm gonna put the total and the breakdown in the description box with the conversion to US dollars for your reference. I chose all seven services they suggested, but the staff made it very clear that I didn't have to pick all of them. I could choose. She also said that it was rare for the workshop to suggest so many replacement services that they usually would not do so much work on the back because it stresses the leather out and it takes a lot of time. They needed to let the leather rest 
before each step so that's why it takes so long from the most expensive to the least expensive here is the list and the before and after first of all the most expensive job was replacement of handles it was 9020 hong kong 1160 us the handles came in pairs i cannot ask them to replace only one because the colors need to match originally the leather was separating from the handles and they were in very bad shape now they look brand new so the second most expensive service was replacement of gussets the two sides it was 7631 hong kong 980 us same as the handles they always replace both sides left and right they will not just do one side originally there were ribs missing stitches and cracks on the leather and now they look perfect and the third one is replacement of swivel clasp which is the turn lock it was 3520 hong kong 450 us this was so expensive because they had to almost take the whole bag apart to replace the clasp the back of the clasp is in between the front panel and the lining so it is a lot of work originally they looked dull and there were a lot of scratches now they look shiny and clean so the next service is general cleaning they cleaned the exterior of the bag and maybe did a little bit of retouching, restitching, and rewaxing. Next, restitch side strap. It was 1,620 Hong Kong, 208 US. For this one, I was hoping that they would replace the side straps, but in the end, they decided to restitch them. I asked the after sales service rep what would happen to the year and craftsperson stems if they replaced the straps and she said the workshop would not suggest replacing the side straps because it puts too much stress on the leather on the back panel the second last item was replacement of brackets it was 1340 hong kong 170 us they used to look dull and now they match the new swivel clasp and side strap plates speaking of side strap plates this, the replacement of the side strap plates, was the least expensive. It was 880 Hong Kong, 115 US. The plates came as a pair. It was the least expensive service. It seems like they did a lot of work on the back. There are four things that they didn't change. First of all, the front panel the back panel the bottom and they didn't change the feet so you can see the colors don't match perfectly but it's okay it's fine like i'm never gonna show anybody the bottom of the bag in this part of the bag you will be able to see the difference in the two colors so this is the new leather and this is the old leather and the old one looks more dull But it's still acceptable so the front looks the same because they didn't change this front panel right so they only changed the side you won't be able to see the difference unless you look very very closely and know that this is a bag that came back from the ms bar and then the handles are also new so again like it's not too big of a difference you you may be able to see the difference but it really depends on the lighting. So here you may be able to see a little bit more clearly. So this is old, this is new. This is for sure a brighter blue than this. All right, no change here. This one is new. So the next thing I want to talk about is warranty. There's no warranty, but they will fix any problem uh, when you pick up the bag. If you see something, then, then they will definitely fix it. And I'm sure if there's any problem, I can always go back and they will know if it's like their problem or my problem. So I'm really not worried. 
Overall, I'm very happy with the result. I'm glad I sent the bag to MS. They did a great job, and I'm so happy that I'll be able to use this bag for many more years. We've reached the end of this video. I hope you found the information useful. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing to my channel, following me on Instagram at WinnieYYouTube for outfit photos, and checking out my Instagram store at WinnieYStore where I sell my stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. I can't wait to chat with you in the comments below. I'm going to see you again in my next video. Take care and bye-bye.